What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, the Exit Velo Showdown of the century. We are gonna try to officially crown a new BB Core number one, the Cat X, the Voodoo One, the Bone Saber, and the Atlas. Let's get it. All right, folks, got our four bats here, all BB Cores, all 3330s. We are on the hit tracks today, $25,000 hit tracking machine. It's uh, very, very accurate in here at PDX Eastside Training. And we have 30 of the exact same baseball. They're all equally used off of a pitching machine, throwing the same velo every pitch. These are the Champro Kevlar seam baseballs. And we're gonna get like two sets uh, with each bat here. Get, get a few barrels in each set. Try to give you guys kind of a clean answer here of what we really think is the best bat in the game right now. So let's go. brought to you by Kraken Bat Grip. Ninety-eight point three. So that's one of those ones from the Cat X where I think I got it a little bit towards the hands, but it feels so good on this bat that it felt like Carol. Hit that ball well. Ninety-nine seven. Match the Voodoo 1, 103.5. 98.7. 986, man, you really have to catch it very, very, very flush. It's more forgiving than the Voodoo 1, but the miss hits are definitely softer. There we go. 101.9. If you get it perfect, I mean, this is almost as hot as this, but this will ring up your hands more, but those miss hits are a lot hotter on the Voodoo One. This is a little easier to get through the zone though and obviously more durable. Ninety-nine-two. Little towards the end, but that felt pretty good. Yeah. 101-3. Dude. In on the hands and just clobbered that ball. Goodbye. That's going very far. 413. 1017. Perfect barrel, dude. Wow. The top velo it was lower on the Atlas right there. But I legit felt like I hit the best with this bat. This bat felt the best. I feel like I caught the most barrels. Now we've got the wild card here, folks. Based on this thing's last performance on the hit tracks. I'd say, in terms of exit velo, this is the favorite. 98.5. So I definitely get the most uh, feedback and response as far as like vibration goes on this back compared to those. Oh baby, 102.5 right there. Yeah, dude, that, that rings the hands up pretty bad. More than anything, I just noticed how the sweet spot on the Bone Saber is more clear out here. Where, like, the Cat X, and especially the Atlas, is kind of more down here. A lot more forgiving if you're a little bit late on the ball. 101, the ball's hammered. The ball's touched, dude. 100.3. Yeah. 103.5. One oh three one. It's hot bat, man. So in terms of exit velo, I think this is probably how we're looking from best to worst. But in terms of like what I've enjoyed swinging and what I'm hitting best with, and uh, what I'm finding easiest to put the barrel on the ball with, I'd probably order it like this. This I had a hard enough time finding barrel with, where I I'd even just prefer a heavier bat with more barrel, like uh, the Goods or Select Power, maybe even the Stinger Nuke. Dude. 
just, this was my worst hitting performance of the day, like very clearly, man. It just took me a lot more pitches to catch perfect barrel. That was a little on the hand. There's just even more barrel to work with on this than the bone saber, honestly. Dude, that's a piece. The ball's touched. 407. Yeah, these are the lightest two bats. The Voodoo 1 and the Cadex are the lightest two bats here. Did I just break this thing? I wonder if it just has something to do with the vibration dampener or what, bro. Here, throw me a couple. That's a little concerning. I've hit with this bat a ton. It still bangs. Huh. Alright, I guess it's good. Let's let her eat here. Dude, I know what Zach is saying, bro. That's the easiest one to whip through the zone. It's so light, bro. That ball is absolutely touched. Huh, big, a big range on the barrel. This probably is the biggest exit elo range out of all of these. Late read, let's see, 102.2. Out of launch angle though, that's kind of been the big difference. 103.9, bro. Holy smokes. It's just the big outlier in this group for me is barrel size and the ability to slightly miss and still do well with the Atlas. All right, folks, so here's our four bats in order of how well they did in our velo test. The Voodoo one, the Bone Saber, the Atlas, and then the Cat X, all obviously super close. Like the max velos were like laughably close, guys. All very, very hot bats here, but we gotta narrow it down to a number one, and we're gonna do that kind of by the process of elimination. And the more we review these bats, uh, the more we kind of realize a good way to think about it is how much is there to complain about a bat? And if you can find a bat where there's literally nothing to complain about, like that's going to be the top dog. So uh, let's start with the Voodoo one here. And we've talked about this a bunch, guys. We talked about it in the video yesterday, part one of this video. The Voodoo one has durability problems and that is going to disqualify it from the number one spot, guys. It has been reoccurring enough. It has been prevalent enough. And we had hoped that Gold Voodoo One 2023 would rid the durability issues from the Voodoo One name, but they are back, unfortunately. So I believe now we have the Voodoo One at number four overall in our BB Core rankings. Now let's address the Bone Saber here, folks. So super hot, an excellent bat for Exit Velo, an excellent bat for the hit tracks. However, guys, it was very clear today the more I swing it, the more I'm realizing out of the four bats here today, the Bone Saber was absolutely the smallest sweet spot. Definitely something significant to complain about there. I think uh, people who swing the Bone Saber will probably bring that up quite a bit. So while the swing weight is nice and light, the power on our bat bro scale is all the way up at a 10. Uh, the sweet spot's really gonna keep that out of the top five rankings for us. And that leaves us with our two top dogs. So in part one of this video, Zach had picked the Cat X as his favorite BB Core bat and Will had picked the Atlas as his favorite BB Core bat. So this was gonna kind of serve as the tiebreaker, folks. And looking at the averages, uh, the max is super close, but it's more important to look at the averages for an exit velo test. It looks like the Atlas is indeed a little bit hotter bat. And guys, it honestly makes sense. The Cat X is a good bat for barrel control, for contact tinning. The Atlas has a little more swing weight on it and quite a bit more sweet spot, which really helped to get better average exit vehicle results today. So we have a new and pretty dang unexpected number one BB core bat for 2023. Highly deserved the Louisville Slugger Atlas. And then especially too, we had that kind of 
funky, maybe durability problem show up with the Cadex there. Don't really know what that was. It's hit good ever since. So we'll keep you updated on that. But looking at our new BB Core top five, it's gonna start out with the Atlas here, followed up closely by the Cadex. Then we're gonna have our Marinis, which would likely be two of the top dogs if it weren't for their durability problems. We'll have the Goods and then the Voodoo One and then the Select Power, which is an amazing bat as well in the five spot. So if you guys have any feedback, feel free to drop it in the comments. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and you can head over to baseballbatbros.com to see all of these rankings and all of our Bat Bro scales. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.